Hello, and welcome to How to Thanksgiving. I'm Bill Thanksgiving, and we're going to try and make your life a little bit easier this year. Uh, everyone kills themselves uh, trying to make the most amazing meal, and no one ever appreciates it. So why not uh, find a few shortcuts and a few tips that will make people go, wow, that was really good, and make you go, wow, that was really easy. I'm going to show you how to make my famous turkey giblets gravy. What are giblets? Well, that's all the junk inside the turkey that no one really knows what to do with and we all just throw away. Don't, because this is going to make our turkey stock. It's the neck and the Pope's nose in the back, also known as a turkey butt. And all this stuff in the bag, it's going to make a great stock. So put it in there with two cups of chicken stock. Um, and then we're going to put it on the stove. We're going to let that simmer for at least an hour uh, and then uh, we're going to strain it off and you got two cups of turkey stock suddenly. Uh, it's fantastic, but there's a little bit of floating stuff in here, some scum and some other things that come out of it. Uh, if you make this hours ahead of time, you can make this a day ahead of time, stick it in your fridge. The fat will solidify. Everything flows to the top and you can just easily just kind of skim this stuff off. You can't get everything, but you can get most of it. Uh, and once you've done that, we're going to start making our roux. So you take two tablespoons of butter, heat that in a frying pan like this, and we're going to add, uh, that's two teaspoons of flour. I think I screwed up the math because it's supposed to be two tablespoons to match the butter. They should be equal parts. Hey, there you go. I figured it out pretty quick. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. If that's the worst thing I screwed up all day. I did pretty good. Uh, now bring your roux together and it's looking uh, pretty dark, but just about perfect there. We're going to add our turkey stock. I'm going to strain it one more time in case there's a few bits I can get out of it. It's perfect. Now we're just going to let this thicken up over the heat, bring it to a little bit of a simmer, and you're going to put just a little bit of seasoning, a little black pepper in it, and that's pretty much all that it really needs. Uh, it's, it's delicious and amazing on its own. However, there is one trick you can do that I love that I never told anybody before. You're the only person I've told. Yeah, I throw a packet of instant turkey gravy in there. No one's going to know and it's delicious and it's amazing, but you got to kind of break that up. It might get a little clumpy. Usually you put it into, you know, cold water. So when you put it in hot, it gets a little clumpy. Just mash the clumps. It, it, they will work out no problem. But this is the secret to really amazing turkey gravy. Trust me. Uh, and uh, your turkey, if you dry it out a little bit, this is going to be the star of the show. It's going to save everything. So uh, you want your, your gravy to be amazing. And this is, trust me, you got to make your, your gravy this way. It works fantastic. And it will really set off your Thanksgiving. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.